Coney Ely, Michael Sam, James Franklin, Henry Josie, and Doriel Green Beckham, all key members of Missouri's SEC East Championship, but none of them among the returning starters coming back to Columbia in 2014. Hi everybody, I'm Ray Croft. You know, receiving alone, Missouri lost 63% of their production from a year ago, but our insider says not to worry. Tom Ackerman is that insider who's been covering Missouri sports for over 15 years, and he joins us now. And uh, Tom, why don't you think there will be a big drop off at receiver this year? Well, Missouri really for the last decade has had the same system going. They move the ball well on offense, and they have good pass rushers on defense. We'll talk about all of them, but really to me, Gary Pinkle's system is in place. He recruits for depth. He has very good players at all positions. So while Missouri did take a hit with some graduations and a dismissal of Mario Green Beckham and a suspension of Levi Copeland, they are well equipped and there's really no reason to panic at all. We got a good look at quarterback Matty Mock, who was uh, forced into duty with injuries to James Franklin. He was named the, to the SEC All-Freshman team. Is he ready to take that next step and lead this offense? He is, and he'll have some good receivers to throw to. I mean, Bud Sasser and Darius White. He's got Jimmy Hunt. He has some freshmen he can throw to. But Matty Mock is one of the best quarterbacks in the SEC. He proved last year when he had some pressure on him. I mean, he came in in the Georgia game. He led the Tigers to some big wins. He can handle pressure. He's very tough, very intelligent, kind of like a Chase Daniel. Gary Pinkle doesn't like to say that, but I will. He's like a Chase Daniel type player. The question is accuracy and good in the pocket. Can he do those things? But he's very capable of leading this offense. All right, let's look at the other side of the ball now on defense. Who replaces the production provided by the likes of Coney Ely and Michael Sam? I don't believe they will have a drop off here. Now, linebackers, interior line, secondary, I think there are all questions as to whether they can carry the load and be tougher against the run and the pass. But at defensive end, no problem getting after the quarterback. On one side, you have Shane Ray, who is kind of an edge rusher. But on the other side, maybe the best player on this team, Marcus Golden. He's a bull rush defensive end, six and a half sacks last year as a backup. He's a tremendous player, and he'll be very tough to stop. Well, there aren't many teams out there who can say they went 6-1 and one away from their home stadium a year ago, but Missouri was able to do that. So what do you see for the Tigers in 2014? They're going to have to prove themselves all over again to the SEC and apparently to the country because they're unranked going into the season. They were fifth in the nation last year. Now, their first four games, not exactly a gauntlet. They could make it through that 4-0, but then you play at South Carolina. You're home against Georgia two weeks later. You have two weeks to prepare. That is a huge game to prove yourself in the league. But Missouri is capable. They do like to play with a little edge and a chip on their shoulder. Anyway. So I think it'll be good for Gary Pinkle's team. A motivated Tiger squad this year. Tom, thanks for the insight. You got it. Thanks, Ray. Where do our in-house experts have the Tigers falling in the SEC East this year? Pete Futak and Doug Chapman preview the conference on CampusInsiders.com.